Hello and welcome to a Fallout 76 camp build tour. I'm here at the cave near Vault 96. You would have seen the location from Secret Places You Can Camp number 71. I've set up my water purification system, my ingredients for my adhesive garden, moved it away from all those annoying firecracker plants that keep going off. And that's what the outside looks like, the original exterior. So I've waited until the sun is almost going down so you can see the lighting that was done on the inside. To me, this was a lighting project more than anything because it had a really nice long tunnel entrance. <coughs> yeah, I won't be putting my crops there anymore. So I went with just a simple metal building. And yes, I know people can just walk in from that side. It'll be explained a bit more in the lighting video. I had to go with the largest 10 power generator so I couldn't put the smaller ones inside. So it will explain all the different lights and what I used for this project. The build was actually kind of fun. I haven't done a good lighting project in a long time. I started briefly, I'll just give a quick description here. I'm using these cycling lights. I had no idea that they actually cycled through about six different colors and probably two different shades of each color. Now these are quite different from the normal hanging light bulbs is that you have to power them. Each individual light has to have its own power rather than with the normal light bulbs that you can just place them all around on the ceiling and put a power pylon nearby and then they'll light up. But more on that in the lighting video that will be out tomorrow. So I went with a, just a pale blue in here because it was a lot easier on the eyes than some of the other brighter colors. And I keep catching myself on some of the ceiling uh, power connectors. Now when you get into the cave portion, I went with all bright white light bulbs. This way I didn't have to wire them all. I just plunked them all up on the ceiling and everything is good. And I can go around and turn them on and off. I placed my vault tech chair. I got the cooking station over the existing campfire. Put a little desk and table. And there was a combat rifle here today. Yesterday it was a sniper rifle. And most people don't realize that these light bulbs, you can actually turn them on and off. I found that out completely by accident. So you can set your mood lighting, whether you want it really, really bright to work or really, really dim. It's kind of fun. Or you can put them all on a main switch or something to turn them completely on and off all at once. So like I said, it's a very small location, but it was kind of a fun little build. More interesting for all the lighting that I had to do. It took about two hours to lay all of these connectors and lights. Again, thanks for watching the tour. Here's one last look. Happy camping and see you out in the world.